Hey there YouTube, Thatsy here, and today I'm going to be bringing you just a few casual fun battles I played in the OU tier. You see I'm going to be on the bottom left, and I'm going to be playing against this guy, Insulted Fish. He's in the top right. He has a pretty standard, uh, like a really, really standard sun, sun team. If you look at my team, it looks kind of like a lot of really good Pokemon, but they don't really go that well together. And if you notice, every one of my Pokemon is a different four times weakness. Gyarados is electric, Gliscor's is ice, Heatran's uh, ground, Scizor is fire, Titar is fighting and uh, Fall Corona is rock. So my team has kind of good synergy, but I'm completely 100% trolling in all these games. So let's just hop right into it. Here we go. I'm going to lead off with Gyarados. That's usually my lead. And uh, he's going to lead off with Victini. So usually Victini's Choice Scarf, and they usually they carry Bolt Greg. So I know that that's probably going to come out. I'm going to swap out. I'm going to go into Gliscor to eat the Bolt Strike. I thought it was a pretty smart move. There's the Bolt Strike. And pretty much he's probably going to have to switch now because usually these guys are scarfed. And I get a free proc on my uh, Toxic Orb. So he's going to withdraw. He's going to go into Landorus. Uh, and Timmy's going to happen. No big deal. I'm going to pop a free sub. I'm not scared of Landorus. So he's going to go for HP Ice. Break my sub. That kind of... It's, it's, it's obvious. I mean, that's... Landorus is have to kill other Landorus somehow, right? And it's going to let me get a free Toxic off. So not when you need the HP Ice, I'm going to swap it to my Titar to start up the uh, Sandstorm, which I don't really need, but, you know, it's free swap, and it red cards out the Landorus. My Titar is a, a red card set. Now I'm going to pause it. <laughs> so what happened is I switched to my Titar, and he hit me with the HP Ice with the Landorus, and it red carded out Victini unluckily, and he, he final gambits my full HP Titar with his Victini. And I'm just thinking, like, whoa... That's pretty good against weather users. Final game of Bikini, I might have to start using that if I'm going to be trolling. Because, like, now my weather user is gone. I'm usually fine against Bikini. But now he sends out his Ninetales. It's it's sunny now, and it kind of sucks. So, uh, I sent my Gyarados to fight his Ninetales, hoping to get the EQ off. And he's going to swap into his Cresselia. And on the swap in, I get the Dragon Dance. Because, I mean, he has a Landorus, so I didn't want to go for just a blind one. Because even if he swapped in the Landorus, I could have went for the... Uh, the waterfall and it would have done a ton of damage. So I'm going to go for the second Dragon Dance because I wanted to scout if he had Toxic or Thunder Wave and my Lumberry would cure. If he had a Toxic, I probably just would have kept DDing up. But if he's going to go for the Thunder Wave, I'm going to go for my one Waterfall and it's going to do like nothing. And he's talking in chat like, oh, well, that's cute, you know, like he's trying to be like super BM, but I'm like, whatever, dude. I'm just going to swap out. No big deal. Paralyzed Gyarados is useless, but it's fine. I feel like I'm in still an okay spot even my weather inducer is gone. I'm gonna go into my Gliscor. Gliscor can talk to this guy, can start setting up. It'll be okay. So I'm gonna he's actually gonna keep his Cresselia in and let it get toxic. I don't know why he would do that. But then he ice beams me and I'm like, well that's probably why he did it. <laughs> but still, Toxic and Cresselia, totally worth that thing is so hard to kill. Alright. So I to revenge kill, I'm going to go to my Volcarona. And I'm probably going to try and uh, double swap, I guess, into my Gyarados. <laughs> yeah, because uh, the Thunder Wave's happening again. I played this game a couple of days ago, so I kind of forgot what happened. But yeah, I go for the double swap into my Gyarados because I'm just trying to waste the turns on his Toxic. So Venusaur's going to come out, and I predict Venusaur to come out, so I Ice Bang. I didn't really expect the Ice Bang to kill, you know, but I mean, Ice Bang is the best move I have to use against Venusaur. And the second Ice Fang actually kills it. So what happened was I he swapped it in an Ice Fang. He was faster than me. He Giga Drained. And then uh, the second Ice Fang killed it. So Landorus is going to come out. It's going to U-turn. You probably expect me to switch. But I'm just bothering Gyarados at this point. I don't really care if he goes into Ninetales. I think I went for another Ice Fang. There's another last Ice Fang. Uh, no freezes, no flinches. But it's cool. I'm pretty much just trying to fodder my Gyarados not get set up on right now, but I'll try an Earthquake if I can. I think, like, right here he goes for the Nasty Plot, and I'm paralyzed. This turn I went for the Earthquake. I was so mad when that happened. Oh, man. Because now this Ninetales is a Nasty Plot just for free. So I'm going to withdraw. I'm like, whatever, screw this. I can save this guy to eat Earthquakes later. Go into Heatran, because I'm expecting a Fire Attack, and he Solar Beams, and that's a like Crit Solar Beam with a Nasty Plot, and it does nothing. Nothing to Heatran. You guys are going to see my Heatran in these next few battles. It's probably the best Pokemon on my team. It's a Rest Talker, and he's just busted. So he's going to draw Ninetales, even though he had the Nasty Plot, and go into Landorus. 
and you get that Timmy, it's no big deal. <clears throat> I'm gonna swap out as well, go back into my Gyarados, because I wanted to, I was pretty much just testing the waters to see if Ninetales had HP ground, because HP ground with an S pot would do a ton of damage. The Lanners is gonna U-turn again on my Gyarados, and he's gonna send the Ninetales back out. And it's another Ice Fang. Oh yeah, get those Ice Fangs going. So, again, we're right back where we started. No big deal, but at least he doesn't have a Nasty Pot anymore. I'll just try an Earthquake, but he Solar Beams me. It's fine. At this point, it was worth sacrificing my Gyarados to realize that his Ninetales does not have HP ground. So, I can just set up my Heatran if I feel like it, and be fine. So, there's Heatran. And, pretty much the way this works is, if I kill his Landorus, I can win. So, he's gonna withdraw, he's gonna go into Cresselia, probably just try and wall me out somehow. I'm gonna miss with a Magma Storm, you know, it happens, that's what I get for running Magma Storm. Again, I am trolling, so, like, Magma Storm's the most troll you can get on Heatran. He's gonna go for the Thunder Wave, uh, no big deal, this is actually a Rest Talk Heatran, so, like, I could care less about being paralyzed. But I can't use Rest Storm at 100%, so... Oh well. This Cresselia is going to have to stay in and die though. He moonlights back up to full, but like he's trapped for Magma Storm. If you guys know, don't know what Magma Storm does, I think it's a. I, ex I expected him to hit me right there. That's why he used Rust. Uh, Magma Storm is a 120 base power. I think it's 70 accuracy. And it pretty much traps them just like Fire Spin. So it's going to miss like every time. But it's a really fun move to use. Uh, you'll see it in a bunch of my later battles that I upload today. So I'm just going to try Magma Storm down. There's not really that much you can do other than waste my PP because Toxic's eventually just going to take him out. But Moonlight, as you guys know, restores uh, 3 fourth in the in the sun. It's kind of weird how that works, like, oh, it's sunny outside, let's use the moon. <laughs> but that's how it works. So I'm just going to withdraw, because like, if he's just going to spam rest, I'm going to set up, you know. I don't expect him to go for the T-Wave here. And I might even double swap again. I don't remember. I might even have had like one berry at this point on my Volcronide. I just don't remember. I guess I just kill it with Bug Buzz. He's gonna go down. So now it's 3 to 3. And if I can kill the Landorus, I'm good. Like, he can't kill my Heatran. So he's gonna send out the Landorus. I'm expecting it to be faster than my Volcarona. But I'm just gonna keep him honest. He earthquakes me, it kills me, you know. It happens. Alright, and I think I go Scizor, because I'm not retarded. Yeah, <laughs> let's go into Scizor. I don't have my, uh, he, has, he doesn't have the Intimi on me. He stays in, he earthquakes, it's not going to kill. N now, like, that Landorus is, it's pretty low. So I'm going to bullet punch, I get a crit on the swap to the Ninetales. So that's really big. Uh, I was thinking about staying in. I don't remember if I do, but I know he goes into his Landorus. And I don't know why he would go into Landorus, because Toxic's going to kill it. So right there, he made a huge player error. He was so ahead. Now he sends out Espeon, but like, I'm not afraid of Espeon. I'm a special wall. I mean, he used uh, Psyshock. It hits my defense, but I'm still a Steel type with full HP investment. So when I saw the Hidden Power, I was like, no, HP ground, but it was actually HP fire. So he even gave me, like, a boost to my Flash Fire. This is another good thing Magma Storm's good for. I kill Octus Dash, and the Magma Storm finished him off at the end of the turn. Like, Flash Fire, Magma Storm's like, oh my gosh, just, I'm gonna kill everything. Sleep Talk, I get Roar on his last Pokemon. It's kind of funny. But like, the yeah, like, the Magma Storm and the end of the turn Sandstorm, it's really big. So like, things that use, like, Gliscor, like, Poison Heal Pokemon can't really get over that double residual damage. So... It was really, really cool. I won this battle. Um, yeah, I'll probably upload a few more of these games eventually. <laughs> but yeah, this is just an experiment I'm doing with uh, a four times weakness team. I'll probably change it up a little bit. It's just something I like to do at work when I'm bored. Uh, let me know if you guys like the games. And I'll see you all next time.